Have you ever seen the channel Mr. Beast? Oh, I knew it. Dude. Yeah. When I drop you off, this will actually officially be your Lamborghini. Are you serious? Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. This video is a story of a guy who got a Lamborghini Gallardo that costs over $150,000 in a Mr. Beast video. His non-disclosure agreement has finally expired and he is ready to tell us his story. He will tell us about Mr. Beast's giveaways, about Jimmy Donaldson in person and even a story of a girl who won a 100 million subscribers private island. This is gonna be interesting. First, let's talk about who this guy is. His Reddit nickname is Bump Julia and he posted his story on the famous subreddit saying, I want a very nice car from Mr. Beast and our NDA has expired. Ask me anything. In this video, I'm gonna tell you the story from his point of view, so let's get started. First of all, yes, I was paid. I received the vehicle and was able to drive it around for a couple of days. There was a lot of paperwork involved, but I received the car with the title in two days. A vehicle I received was worth a lot of money. Mr. Beast gives away vehicles quite often, but many of them are not as expensive as the one I was gifted. Like my car was literally the most expensive in the video. The vehicle I received from him was very expensive to find, let alone buy. While I eventually figured out that it was actually Mr. Beast, he turned off a few hidden cameras I didn't even notice because it was my first time in a car this expensive. He told me to sell it as soon as he signed it over to me. By the way, extremely random, but I don't understand why people over six feet would drive a sports vehicle. Jimmy Mr. Beast is around 6'4", and I kid you not, his knees were almost in his stomach while driving. Probably the answer to the most asked question I will get. Yes, he was a cool ass dude. I know a few people that have been in his videos that have talked about him being an asshole or not paying them for weeks or months at a time. This didn't happen in my situation and I honestly thought Jimmy was hilarious. If I had to take a guess on his personality based on the 20 minutes I spoke with him, he seems very genuine. And finally, the story of how this happened and how I got the car. This all happened while I didn't have a car and would Uber to work almost every day. Long story short, I called an Uber to work during COVID mask era and there was a very nice vehicle in front of my house I assumed was my Uber. The Uber driver's name was something super generic and the vehicle was supposed to be a Jeep. Neither of these were true, but I was already late for work, so I didn't second guess it. Due to COVID, we both had masks on and I didn't recognize him immediately and I think that's what helped make that interaction organic. I realized it maybe six to seven minutes into the ride and he told me the car was mine once we parked. I was confused at first, but when I realized we were on film while also realizing this car is mine, we just shot the shit and joked around. A lot of this didn't end up in the YouTube video, but I definitely thought all of it was going to be fake. Mr. Beast is a human ATM for real. If you didn't get it yet, I was in the eye of good people and let them keep the car video that was published in late 2020. I got the most expensive car in the video, the yellow Lamborghini Gallardo. Yes. That's me. In case you're wondering why Jimmy told me to sell the Lambo as soon as possible. That was kind of personal advice. He told me how much it would cost to keep it. And I did some math in my head. It made more sense to sell it as soon as possible and take the money. Also, no, it was not part of the deal that I had to sell it. Also, I am not a friend of anyone related to Mr. Beast. Actually, my situation was pretty insane. I was Ubering to work every day. I called an Uber that said it was 12 minutes away. But after a few more minutes, I looked at the Uber app again and the driver was now 19 minutes away, so I cancelled it. I called another Uber, which turned out to be Mr. Beast. It's very common for many of us in his videos to know each other because many of us went to college together. He himself lived and grew up in our city. A lot of my friends showed me who they really were, with many feeling entitled to part of the money. Safe to say, I lost a few people I was close with. A complete side note, I was covering a shift for someone and wasn't even supposed to work that day. I ended up giving him some money because if it weren't for him not being able to work, none of this would have happened. And I had to sign a non-disclosure agreement because you have to know how most of these TikTok and YouTube giveaway videos work. They could sue me if I posted anything about the video before they put it out on YouTube. His management basically told me to sign the NDA to ensure I got the car and not to post anything on social media until the actual video came out. In North Carolina, which is my state, the luxury tax was about $6,000 if I had the car for more than 60 
days. It's an extremely weird law. The insurance, however, is what baffled me. There is only one exotic car dealership in my state that is able to work on these cars, and it was four hours away. And yeah, I sold this car exactly as Mr. Beast told me. For around $95,000 in cash, what did I do with those 95 grand? I bought a new Honda Civic the day after. Of course, I spent some of the money on a couple of shopping sprees for myself, close friends, and family, but the majority is invested and stashed away. Was Mr. Beast nice in person? In my situation, yes. However, I've heard other stories about some of the longer challenges he does where he isn't the nicest person on set. Also, I am friends with a girl who won a private island from Jimmy, and she has absolutely no idea what to do with it. Jimmy used to live quite close to me in a relatively small city with only around 100,000 people. Many of these people, including myself, were students at the university in the city. He would often go to the campus and recruit people for these challenges by literally just walking or driving around and asking people if they wanted to win a ton of money. I'm not kidding. He did a beer pong challenge one time in the middle of the campus and I know at least 10 people in the video. Actually, I would say that probably 4 or 5 people who I actually hang out with or talk to regularly have won something from Mr. Beast and I know at least 20 other people who have been in his videos. I know it sounds like most people in his videos have some sort of mutual friend or connection to him. A lot of the students at the university had a much higher chance of being randomly gifted things by him because he was on campus a lot and his friends who appear in the videos drive around and find random people for these challenges. Although I had a higher chance of this happening to me based on where I lived, it was a pure stroke of luck that this happened to me. I still think to this day that I was chosen by some anonymous person, but I guess we'll never know. You also may be wondering how long the NDA was active before it expired. Honestly, I don't even remember how long it was, but basically, if he had never posted the video, I wouldn't have been able to post about it and probably wouldn't have been able to even keep the car. If you are mad that Mr. Beast made me sign a non-disclosure agreement, allow me to explain why I think it's totally fine. Let's say you yourself got a million dollars for every YouTube video you posted via a sponsor who also pays for whatever you give away. In the video, someone who posts the entire story with video proof that it happened could potentially lose you a lot of views, especially in a smaller city. It made sense to me why he didn't want it posted because the video has a 100 million of views now. However, who knows if it would have did the same numbers if a shit ton of people already knew the story. Last time I checked 1 million views on YouTube is close to 5,000. If he lost bare minimum 1 million views for me posting this thread before the NDA expired, he loses that extra 5 grand. They don't want people beating them to the punch because that 5,000 adds up. Overall this was an insane experience. Greenville is a small city, so people who live here have really a big chance to participate in Mr. Beast video. I don't know how many people from my city have been in a squid game in real life video, but I'm pretty sure there were a lot of people that I know. So Mr. Beast's videos are not staged or faked, at least mine was not. He really gave me the car, which is still kinda crazy to realize that I got Lambo for literally free. Other people in the video I was in got their cars too, but as you can tell, those were a lot cheaper, so I guess I've won a jackpot in life. And yes, I drove the car around before I sold it. Didn't really like all the attention, but it was definitely fun to drive. By the way, I recently tried the Mr. Beast burger and it was kind of mid.